<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Food, Wine, and Whiskey in Your Own Backyard. And tonight, I'm with Tracy Rutherford. Hi everybody. And my wife is out hanging out with some friends, having a good time. And she should. I'm glad she's out having a good time. Your husband? My husband is out of town with customers down in Dilly, Texas at the Deer Ranch. And all of our other group of friends that we might hang out with are all busy doing something. Right, somewhere else. So I reached out to Tracy and said, you know, I'm at home, you're not doing anything, why don't we get together and, and do something on YouTube and have some fun where we can have some good food and drink right. a little wine along the way. And So this is kind of the first video, this is going to be just on charcuterie. And then after this we'll have a second video where we're going to kind of go through two whites and three reds from Napa Valley that are some of our... Some of the wines we like. Right. At different I mean, price points. Yeah, so that we can talk about, you know, the qualities of each kind of price point. So look for that video after this. But this video, Chichuterie, we decided let's do it. It would be fun. It was actually Sandra's idea, which was a right. great idea, Sandra. And we said, let's go, let's go shopping. Mm -hmm. So we made a list and uh, went to the grocery store and said, let's buy a bunch of stuff. Got and some yummy stuff here. Yeah. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah. Yeah. So we bought a bunch of stuff, and so let's put a charcuterie board together. And should we give the disclaimer? Sure. Um, as, we as, understand. As we know, everybody likes to comment and correct all of everyone's mistakes. And traditionally, charcuterie is a meat board that is a complement of a cheese board, and it is strictly meat. However, currently, it is being used in a much wider kind of sense and it encompasses all of what you see in front of us. That is more your sweet, savory, appetizer kind of tray that kind of whets the appetite and prepares you for your meal or substitutes your meal in our case this evening. Yeah. Um, and uh, kind of allows you to sample all these wonderful So we're gonna say chichuterie things. and cheese board and it's going to encompass everything you see here and anything you want to throw on yours who cares right if you like it put it on there i think it's common term to use charcuterie board and everybody knows i think in today's world that that's meats cheeses vegetables fruits dips whatever right. you want to put on there right so there you go we understand what the actual meaning is but this is our meaning of it um so let's talk a little bit about what we bought and what we like let's let's just start on this side and, and go across the board sure sure um uh we tried to do a little bit of fruits and vegetables to incorporate both um, on the fruit end. You can do fresh fruits or dried fruits. They're, you know, both pair very well with the cheeses and the crackers and the meats. So we did a lot of berries. We got some pears. Uh, we did some dried figs and some fresh figs since they're in season right now. Um, of course, your grapes. Um, grapes are that always is in season. Pretty much a staple on any cheese or charcuterie board. Um, and then we also, as far as vegetables are concerned, your pick favorite. some. I really like to substitute cucumbers for chips when I'm eating avocado and guacamole um, as a lower uh, carb option. Um, and the peppers also still have some body to them, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of sweet. Um, and it's a great option if you are trying to watch your carb intake. Um, so we picked these for that specific reason. Um, we then, did some nuts. So we did uh, some pecans, some walnuts, and the uh, Marcona almonds, almonds mm -hmm. which are, I think the almonds are a must. Right. You can also a, do cashews or pistachios, cashews. Yeah. whatever whatever you gravitate to. But I think nuts need to be on there. Right. Yes. Especially the almonds. Um, it's yeah. really kind of your typical nut that you see on a charcuterie tray. So. And then we did some olives. And who doesn't like olives stuffed with blue cheese? So we did some olive stuffed with blue cheese. Right. One of my favorites. Right. Same. And then garlic i mean love garlic right. so if we can get some olives with some garlic in there and then we just did some some nice just some calamata yeah, just some, some calamata very olives. simple pitted, pitted. calamata and we did olives all pitted so that we don't have the risk of anybody biting into a pit and being like what the heck right so having an i'm not a fan of pits right. so I, I prefer to get them always uh pitted i can stick in a a uh, toothpick grab right. it eat it and i'm on my way no worries so I'm going to skip this part right here. Let's go right. over to some of the sidekick stuff that we so, got. So you always want to layer things when you're doing this sort of thing. So we've got some mustard to pair with the meats. 
We have some honey to drizzle over some of the fruit and the cheeses. We have some savory, like tapenades, uh, the gherkins, um, and we saw a video that had some uh, caramelized cipollini onions, which sounded amazing. Yes. Um, and you can do yourself, those. or if you're lucky to have a nice little deli that does something like that, that would be a fantastic option. We saw some uh, artichokes in olive oil. We saw some garlic in olive oil. Any of those. Pureed sun-dried tomatoes. Right. I mean. Any of those kinds of things mix and match fillers. make what you like um, these are what we chose for this evening but there's there's all kinds of things out there um, all different kinds of things that are pickled um, so but you want that kind of briny and then you want that sweet right and you want that savory and you you want so to make you sure want a you combination have... you're gonna have you're gonna have some creamy cheeses so you want some briny flavors some of those pickled sour mm -hmm. flavors to kind of cut through some of that and then you want the sweet to complement some of the spicier meats and so you want to encompass kind of all of your flavor profiles and what you're presenting on your board so okay so we have all those and then you call it the vehicle what right you what, to... so you've got to have something to stack and layer and build upon so we have a traditional french baguette which is pretty much a staple. Um, slice easy it. to slice. You can put anything on it. Our particular grocery store had already pre-sliced uh, baguettes that was seasoned up a little bit. So that makes uh, your job really easy if you yeah. want to go that route. Um, crackers are always a great option and there's a million different kinds of crackers out there. So just buy what you like. Exactly. And we saw on one particular uh, site that they had the chicharrones on the board, which is great if you are following a keto diet or just want something. Or if you just like chicharrones, which I do. Or if you just like I that. Do. If yeah. you just want the crunch and you don't want the carbs, it's a great option. So we thought we we're going to try that. That and sounds it, good. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we did the, the olives, so uh, just to get kind of down to the nuts and bolts, we did an artichoke right. and cheese. Tapenade. Tapenade. Um, and then we've got a mustard dip that I think is going to be really good. It's a champagne honey mustard. And then you can usually find some kind of a fig spread at your grocery just store. Just about anywhere where your jellies are and jams. Yeah. So. And, you know, picking up a jar of this that goes great with uh, the goat cheese is what right. I, my favorite with it. Or so the creamier, the, the creamier cheeses. cheeses. Even a creamier. Yeah, you're right. right. Any kind of a creamier, softer cheese, this would be fantastic. On a cracker, on the baguette, any of those would work. And, of course... I don't like honey. Right. And again, you can drizzle that uh, with the goat cheese. Right. With even the pear with the, and the goat cheese and the honey, you can't beat that. It's going to be a that's little bit be a of prosciutto run. wrapped around yeah. the pear. Yummy. We did some olive oil, and then we we've got little bread dippers. So we'll cut up a little bit of the baguette, put that on a plate. You know, that's something else you can do. And again, there's no wrong answer. You can do whatever you right. like. If right. If you it's, like carrots, you can put the little carrots on there. Um, that we saw. Like I said, the the little pepper, the pepperoncini peppers. If yeah. that if that's something that you love to munch on, um, there really kind of isn't. Be as creative uh, a as you want option. to. Yeah, be as creative um, and get what you like. Right. And then the two stars of the dish. We're going to get into the meats and cheeses now. So we did. Um, what did we do here? Six different meats. We did some prosciutto. We did some hard salami, some Genoa salami, some capicola pepperoni, and then some pepper-crusted salami, which I think will be good. Right. So we have about six different meats. What do we got for cheeses? Uh, cheeses, I like to have uh, pungent cheese, which is your goat cheeses or your blue cheeses that have, you know, that, that pungent flavor profile. And there actually are some blue cheeses out there that are milder than others. So, you know, if you're fortunate to have a deli that'll let you taste some things, just try a couple until you find one that you really like that doesn't, you know, necessarily, you know, kill you when you put it in your mouth. So a good pungent cheese and then a harder cheese. Um, we picked uh, Gouda and uh, Beamster cheese and what, what? So we got a, yeah, hard Gouda. Right. A goat cheese. Right, creamy that's soft. right. That's our our creamy cheese. A triple cream, also. and that's your like brie cheese or a triple cream, which is another one that's just really 
it pairs well with pretty much everything on the board. And then we got another hard, this was, sorry, this was mine. It's a Tennessee whiskey cheese. Right. I know it's whiskey, but I think you're going to be interested by the flavor. It's pretty, right. pretty cool. You got to sample it and it was really good. Um, but cheddar cheeses are always really good when you're talking uh, dried meats like this. So if you're... If your flavor profile goes more towards cheddar, then by all means, get one cheddar. of those. Right, get one of those. I just didn't today. There's tons of them out there. Um, there's, my all-time favorite. And that is a blue, right? A nice, good blue is one of my favorites. So, um, but Sorry. there's there's all kinds of cheese out there. Get what you like. If you like a Gouda, if you like a Havarti, if you like. Uh, and an Irish cheese, just get what you like. What, an aged Irish um, cheddar, I like. It right, yeah. exactly. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start to slice and dice and put this thing together, and uh, we'll come back and let you see the finished product. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Chuterie board and look who we have. A couple of guests came by. Jordan. I'm Jordan Rutherford. Brent Fine. And Tracy's daughter. Yeah, and yes. Jordan, how is he related to you? He's my boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. They're together. Alright, so what we decided to do is Tracy and I were gonna make a, a big board that was gonna be for a group of people. And since Jordan and Britton came by, we thought it'd be a great idea to have you guys do a, you know, it's a Netflix night. You're gonna open a bottle of wine, just two of you. Let's put a small board together. All right, we're gonna so, watch Yellowstone after this. Yeah. Yellowstone is fantastic. Are you on season two? Yes, just started nice. it. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna give up the camera and let these two. Uh, let's see what you come up with. Which all right. Board. We we prepped everything. Ready guys, to go. All the hard work's done. So is there, what's your thought process as you're putting this together? Well, beauty first. Okay. For sure. Um, and then yeah, taste that's wise. Gonna taste, that's going to taste good. I'm not a fan of bell peppers, but I know he is, so okay. I'll compromise. All right. Um, and then I know, I just know that pears and fig go well with honey. I've never had figs. Well, do you want to try one? After the board wins, we can try. Okay. <laughs> we'll, get one then. we'll dig in afterwards. The gauntlet has been thrown down, and we have a challenge. Uh, I think their board turned out actually really very nice. The board looked awesome. Um, they missed a couple of fantastic ingredients that we. Um, we call it the Have SSP here. board. SSP. Yeah. Solid, Solid second, second place. place. Uh. Yeah. So we we um, have the. We're gonna start putting our board together right. now. This is gonna be a board. What we'll feed ten people with this. Eight to Probably ten people. eight to ten, maybe twelve. If you have you know those people that are just like, oh, I only want to buy your two, but my, my friends don't. And there's like no that. right way to put a board together. I mean, just. Put it where you want, make it look pretty, of course. Right, exactly. But you know, meats and cheeses maybe like but it's not a, a rule Right, you don't to have it. to put all the fruits together and all the vegetables together and spread it and out. You kinda want it all over the place so that everybody feels like we're gonna use And grapes. once you dig in it's gonna get all mixed in anyway. That's so. right.
Thanks for watching the video today. We enjoyed doing these charcuterie boards. We really enjoyed Jordan and Britton stopping by and doing a couple's board. That was really kind of cool. It was impromptu, but I think it was really cool to show that these boards are versatile. You can make a small board for a couple of people and you can go like we did a big board for a group of people and it's fun. You know, you can go to the grocery store and be creative, pick things out. You can have your friends all come over and everybody brings something different and put a board together, which is always fun. But uh, charcuterie boards are a fun thing to do on a Friday or Saturday night, uh, fun for movie night, fun for just a group coming over, say you're going to be playing cards or a board game. These, these are a fantastic way to have, have a, a substitution for a meal, but you still get some great stuff on the, on the board. So uh, we appreciate you guys watching the video. We thank you for joining us here at uh, Food, Wine, and Whiskey in your own backyard. Look for our next video. We, we hope that you will subscribe and uh, like our videos, share our videos. And uh, until the next episode, enjoy your next pour.